Hi and welcome to my channel and to the virtual studio if you're watching on there. This is day one of our summer challenge, our 14 day summer challenge in the LMP virtual studio. So I hope you're looking forward to it and are gonna join for every day with the community. And um, so this first day is also on YouTube for you to practice if you're not part of the, the membership, but if you wanna continue with us, then make sure you sign up and get ready for day two tomorrow. So let's begin with day one. One. Every session is going to be about 30 minutes and they're going to be really zesty, really bal balancing full body classes. Um, so make sure you're taking care of yourself and moving at a pace that feels right for you and any injuries that you might be working with. So we're going to start on all fours. So we're just going to get warming, warming, moving through the spine and get it nice and warmed up. So just come onto your all fours, hands underneath your shoulders and knees underneath your hips. Grounding down, lengthening through the spine, spreading the fingers wide. And then just starting with a little cat and cow. So round from the tailbone to your head as you exhale. Stretching through the spine. And as you inhale, just lengthen from the tail again to the top of the head, a little arch. Good. So just start here, checking in with the body and the breath. Keeping the spine nice and long. And just getting into area, any areas of the spine that feel a little bit tight. Just giving some love. And keeping your shoulders nice and wide. Good, and then let's just do a little side cat. So just walk your hands over to one side as if you're gonna sort of steer around that corner. And then just take in about five cats on this side. So getting into that side of the back. Feels really nice to stretch into the ribs. Good. Pressing down through the front of the feet. And then just walk the hands back to the center and then around to the other side. So just like you're steering around that corner. Again, and just five here, breathing out. And breathing in. So opening up through the waist, through the ribs. I'm just starting to dial up through the center. So just some awareness through that middle, through the backs, through the sides of your trunk. And then just walk the hands back to the center. And then we'll just bring the hands a little bit further forward, tuck the toes under, keep the spine nice and neutral, find the connection to your center, and then just exhale as you hinge back towards your heels and start to stretch your legs to come into your downward dog. And then from there, we're just going to take a little walk in through the feet, stretch into the calves and the ankles. So just let one heel melt down towards the mat. And then change. Good. So just stretch into the calves, the ankles, the Achilles. They might be a little bit tight, even into the hamstrings and the lower back here. Keeping your toes long, careful not to scrunch your toes up. Knees tracking straight forwards. And then next time you exhale, just start to walk your hands back towards your feet. Keep your knees nice and soft so you're at the back of the mat. And then we're going to slowly roll up to standing. So take your time, keep the weight balanced on both feet as you come up. All the way nice and tall. Just give your shoulders a little roll at the top. Head coming on top of your body, on top of your neck. So you're standing really tall, gazing out in front of you. And then we're gonna go into a little squat. So we're gonna fire it up now. Let's just come forwards into the middle of our mat. And you're gonna have your feet nice and parallel, hip distance apart, long neutral spine. We're gonna inhale as we hinge at the hips and exhale as we come up. So you can start small and then just start to increase the range of movement as you warm up in your hips. Inhale 
and exhale. Good, and just really making sure that your knees aren't knocking in towards each other. Four more. Arms reach forwards as you squat down and back as you come up. Three. Two. And last one, we're gonna add a little releve, so eight more, but we're gonna rise up, so onto the toes. Inhale and exhale. Good. So just add in that work. Back to the legs and glutes active as you come up. Four more. Three. So we're really gonna get that heat in the body today. And every day of this challenge, two. And last one, good. Now we're gonna take our right leg back behind us. So come a little bit forwards on your mat. If you need to hold on to something for a little bit of balance, then do. Right leg's gonna lunge back behind us. And then we're just gonna draw that knee up and then place it down. We're gonna alternate, left leg goes back, nice deep lunge, knee draws up and step it back. So we're gonna alternate this lunge and knee drives through. Take your time. Ooh. A little bit off balance there. Good. And again, really important to keep that tracking of the legs. Step right back, nice and far behind you. I'm gonna come back onto the mat after four more of these. And if you don't want to do that drive through of the knee, you can just step the foot back in. One more on each side. And then rebalance your weight on both feet. Roll down again, soft knees, and we're going to come to sit on the mat into some roll back. So gently take your hands back behind you. Bring your legs out in front of you. Sit nice and tall. Bring your hands just behind the backs of your thighs, elbows are reaching out to the sides of your room. So your back is working, really upright spine. Take a moment just to settle that energy. And then rounding your back, creating that C curve, pressing down through the feet. And then as you exhale, just rock back, let the arms just stretch. And then we're gonna inhale to come forwards and sit tall. Good. So rounding the lower back towards the mat, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. So we don't want those shoulders to bunch up, try and keep them away, draw into that center and use the back to come up tall. Good, so we're going for about six and then we're gonna add some arms on. Good, and only take it back as far as you feel. You can really keep that C curve. Two more. Both ends of the spine going in opposite directions, but keeping your length and then using your back extensor muscles, your back muscles to sit tall. Last one, we're gonna hold it back there. So take it back where you feel safe, where you feel strong. Take the arms off. And we're going to do a little semicircle, a little circle movement with the arms. So then we go out to the side and then just tap above the head and then back out to the side and reach towards the knees. So a little semicircle up, we'll do six here. And you can keep the circle smaller in front of you or more challenging, make it a little bit bigger. Four. And really feel the shoulders widening on the back, keeping your center, keeping your breath. Last two. And last one, good. And then rounding forwards and sitting nice and tall. Let's take it all the way down onto your back. So reach your arms forwards, gently tip, and then take your time as you lay your spine down and let your body just settle there. Walk your feet in a little bit closer towards you, checking that the legs are parallel, pressing into the feet. You're in your neutral, and we're gonna take the arms up. 
soft elbows and fingers nice and long. We're gonna come into our pelvic curl. Inhale, as you exhale, press the low back into the mat and then start to reach the thighs long as you peel up with the pelvis. Breathing in and then exhale as you melt down. Good, so you're keeping those shoulders nice and released. Breathing out as you sequentially roll up. Inhale, and then exhale as you sequentially roll down. So bone by bone. Just regathering your body, your concentration, and starting to work into the backs of the legs and the glutes. We're gonna hold this next one up here, and then we're just going to dip one hip down towards the mat, and then press back up. So inhale, dip the other hip, and press. So a little dip of the hip, and up. Try not to let the knees kind of move with it, so it's just the pelvis trying to isolate the pelvis for four, for three, for two, and for one, hold it there, and then little presses equally up with the hips now, squeezing the hamstrings and the glutes. For five, four, three, two, one, and roll all the way down. Really nice, just hug the knees into your chest, Give your lower back a little massage, gently rocking left to right. And then we're gonna come into some side lying work. So just roll onto one side, come onto your left side, and then just bringing your elbow down underneath your shoulder. So really important here that you're not sinking into this shoulder. So if you need any extra padding under that elbow, under that forearm, then just roll your mat up or pop some pad in there. Make sure the elbow is right directly underneath so it's not in front, not behind. This is quite a good mat. It's got that line in the middle so you can really line up. And then we're going to take the top leg and extend it out. Bottom knee is bent and a little bit back. We're going to have the hands on the hip or maybe behind the head. Just get it out of the way. We don't want to worry about it. Find that neutral. We're going to flex the foot and lift the leg. Lower the leg. Point the foot. Lift the leg and lower the leg. So just add in that ankle action with the abduction of the leg, that leg raise. <sighs> Careful not to sink into the shoulder. <sighs> Point lift, flex lift. Two more. Point lift, flex lift. And now we're going to point and little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then flex little pulses, eight, push that heel away, five, four, three, two, one, and lower the leg down. Good, from here we're gonna lift into our side plank, so our modified side plank, so you can keep the bottom knee down, we're gonna take the top hand up, and we're gonna go into our thread the needle. So if it's too much with the hips lifted, you can always bring the hips back down and take it there. Keep the neck nice and long, exhale as you thread the arm through, turn your head, and look towards the wall behind you gently. Inhale as you open. Exhale as you thread, breathing out as much as you can. And inhale as you open. We've got eight here. So you're squeezing that underneath hip, pressing it forwards, keeping that control. Really good, guys. So stay nice and calm, even as you start to feel the work a little bit deeper. Three. Nice smooth movement, two. Opening up, last one. And opening there, and gently come all the way down. Really good, just come into a little side stretch. So hug your feet in towards you, take that arm that you were just resting on, well, not resting on, working on, and take it all the way up and over into that lovely stretch. And then rebalance all the way up. So gently bring the legs around, we're coming onto that right side now. So bring in your forearm down, you want your fingers pointing forwards, 
elbow right under the shoulder, in line with the waist, top leg reaches out and we can just bring this left hand either onto the hip or behind the head. So we're alternating between the point lift and then the flex lift, keeping it nice and parallel. So don't let the foot kind of go up and the hip roll back. Keep it nice and parallel as you alternate. Lift it on that underneath side of the waist. Flex lift, point lift, making that leg as long and lengthened as you can. Really stretching into that outside thigh. Three. Two. And then we'll hold this one and point and pu push the leg up, but think more about lengthen it, lengthening it away as you push it up for five, four, three, two, one. Flex and then press through that heel as you lift it up. Eight, seven, six, five. Oh, I can feel it. Four, three, two, one and rest it down. Good, let's move straight into that side lift. So lift the hips nice and stacked, long spine, taking that left arm up and then threading the arm through, wrapping it under as you twist and then opening back. Press into the feet, you've got that bottom knee down and you're trying to go smooth. So imagine you're moving through water, Really fluid movements. Five more head turns with you. Inhale. Four. Careful not to let that shoulder sink. Three. Last one. Lift, get to that final reach, and then carefully lower down. Bend the knees, you can gently push yourself up, and we'll just take a side stretch. So reach the top arm all the way over. Breathe into that waist. And then coming all the way back up. Good, come into a seated position. We're gonna work a little bit into our triceps. So sitting nice and upright, your legs back to parallel, hip distance apart, and then bring in your arms just gently back behind you. So we pull those elbows back, and you want to just check they're not too close, not too far away. So just behind you there, fingers facing forwards. We're gonna lift the hips just a few inches up. So not all the way up, just a few inches up. And we're gonna take a little press with the elbows back and up. So just tap in the hips back down to the mat, into this little tricep press. Careful not to lock the elbows as you get to the top. For six, five, four, keep pushing the mat away, so careful not to let the shoulders sink. We're always working to keep the shoulders away from the ears. Three, straight down, straight up, two, Whew, really tough. Last one, and rest in the hips gently down. Good, carefully release your hands, take your time to stretch the arms away from you. And we're coming back around onto those all fours. So gently bring the legs behind you again. And we're gonna work into a little kick back now and then add that tricep work in this shape. So moving on, hands underneath the shoulders, find that neutral long spine. So we're gonna flex our foot, our right foot, keeping that balanced back. So we don't want, imagine if you've got a little cup of tea, just resting on that lower back, just like that nice yellow cup there. We don't want it to, to fall off. So we've got that balanced, and we're gonna kick this foot back, pushing through that heel, and drawing it in. So parallel kickbacks, both hands staying down, shoulders staying nice and wide. Good, so simple but effective to start with today. For five, and keep working your upper body and your center. Four, three, breathe out, two, 
Really nice last one, just hold it there. And then little tricep pre presses here, just six. Elbows pulling back, five, reach through the heel behind you. Good. And then just see if you can hold this last one. So you, you don't want to go too low. So you don't have to have your head on the floor. Try and keep your head off the floor. Both hips dialed down and then little presses with that back leg up. Two, one, press tall and bring that knee all the way in. Good, have a quick breath stretch back and just reach the arms forwards. And then we'll go for that on the other side. Good, so refinding that start position. And then this time left foot flexes, that tabletop back. So imagine that cup of tea just rest in there. And then keeping your foot dorsi flex, you're gonna push the heel away, like you're pushing something away with that foot and drawing it in. Last two. Hold this last one, spread the shoulders, and we go into those dips. Just six. Four more. Straight down and straight up. You can feel those arms. Last two, keeping your chin away from your chest. Let's hold this last one and press the back leg. Eight, seven, push through that heel. Six, five, try and hug those elbows in. Four, Three, two, one, stretch tall, and bring the knee back down. Good, a little rest, that's tough on that upper body, really hard to stretch those arms out. Good. And then just take the knees nice and wide, and again, just walk the hands forward, just have a little bit more of a stretch into the chest, into the inner thighs. Breathing into the back. And then we're just gonna come into a front support position or a plank position, you might know it as. So we're gonna bring ourselves back to those all fours. If you've had enough on the wrists, you can come down onto the forearms, but make sure you lower the pelvis low enough so you're in that lovely plank. So a step one foot back, you want a nice strong leg, work into the glute, the inner thigh, and then step the other leg back, connect that foot down, you're pressing the toes, the, you're spreading the toes and pressing the balls of the feet down, heels back, lift through the hips, through the center. So try not to sink. Keep the chin away from that chest, shine your breastbone forwards. Nice and strong, we're holding there for five, four, three, two, one, and then finding your downward facing dog, just lift the hips again, just like how we started. And just taking that pedaling through the feet. So one heel presses down, inhale and exhale. Good, so just meet in here. And then just lifting both heels up, sending your hips high, pressing your heels down now. And hold in there. So keep the reach through the upper body, through the lower body, and through the hips up to the sky. For five. Breathe into the tummy. And then just gently bring the knees down. And we're gonna to come to a seated position for just a little seated side stretch and hip stretch. So just come into a seated position, regrounding here, and just take one leg out to the side, so into a straddle, it doesn't have to go wide. And the other leg is bent in. And we're gonna take a side stretch. So if you've got your right leg out to the side and your left knee bent in, just take your left arm up, 
rotate towards the right and then reach over towards the left. So head, neck, spine, reaching over there. Sorry, towards the right, <laughs> doing the opposite to you. And then come all the way up. Good. And again, so make the arm long, lift through the waist, twist towards the left and then reach down towards that right foot. So you're trying to turn your face up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Maybe you're lucky enough to be doing this routine outside in nature. And then we twist and reach one more time. So three on each side, really open through the shoulder, through the chest and try and get the movement through your spine even more, not just through your head and arm. And all the way up. Good, other side, just a gentle transition. Left leg out, right leg bent in, and both hips grounded down. And then we're gonna take that right arm up, reach towards the, well, lift, turn towards the right, it gets a bit confusing, but then reach down towards the left foot in that side bend. All the way up. Good, two more, that arm sweeps. Rotate and side bend, opening those right ribs towards the sky. Breathe. Good. And final one, seeing if you can really bend from the spine. So head, neck, spine over to the side, stretching the shoulder and into the back. And then coming all the way back up. And then just coming into a comfortable seated position. So maybe cross-legged. And as we've worked into the triceps quite a lot, I just want to take a little shoulder and tricep stretch here. So just taking your arms up, just going to bend your left elbow so the hand goes down the back. And then just take your right hand um, and just pull that elbow into a bit more of a stretch. And you can nod your chin to your chest. Lift through the spine and breathe. And gently release. And other side, coming up, other elbow bends right behind the top of your head. Try and fold the hand behind your back. And then gently hold that elbow, pull it into a little bit of a stretch, nod your chin down, lift through the spine. Relax the legs. And then come all the way upright. And then just let your arms just trickle down. Maybe give yourself just a little bit of a wiggle out. And then just find a little bit of stillness to finish. Maybe closing down the eyes or just gazing out in front of you. Just drawing your body right back over your pelvis. Breathing into the ribs, the back and side of the ribs, breathing into the tummy. And you're all done for your session for day one. I hope you enjoyed that. It wasn't an easy start. There was lots of challenging things in there. Um, so if you want to join us for day two, make sure you head over to the virtual studio. I'll leave a link in the description box below and you can continue with our challenge together. Um, and I will see you on the mat again soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>